discuss or defend the televising of presidential press conferences. I think it is highly beneficial to have some 20 million Americans regularly sit in on these conferences to observe, if I may say so, the incisive, the intelligent, and the courteous qualities displayed by your Washington correspondents. <laughs> Nor, finally, are these remarks intended to examine the proper degree of privacy which the press should allow to any president and his family. If, in the last few months, your White House reporters and photographers have been, in, have been attending church services with regularity, <laughs> that has surely done them no harm. <laughs> Are you ready for some tough questions? You're going to be fair. Just, I'm going to be fair. Just be fair. But last time I remember you saying to me, bring it on, bring it on. No, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for fairness. You're going to get fairness. But you're okay with some kind of No, I'm not. You're not okay with tough questions. Well, I'm going to be fair. You, you don't ask Biden tough questions. Do you mean? Huh? I don't mean It's terrible. I, it's I don't terrible. Mean you. <laughs> you know that. Okay. Are you ready? ready? Everybody ready? We're out. Okay. Can I start? Let's go one second. The door. Mr. Biden, Mr. Biden, what flavor did you get? You got one vanilla, one chocolate, but I wanted to get a, what we call black and white, and we're going to move it in other words. We're going to split it. No, you're, you're only trying to. I wish, you, I wish you would interview Joe Biden like you interviewed me. It would be so good. You know what? You the, like this, the, I thought. I thought you I don't mind it. I don't mind it. But when I watch him walk out of a store, He's in the midst of a scandal. His family is corrupt. Okay, he's corrupt. He's a corrupt politician. And he's walking with an ice cream. And the question the media asks him, what kind of ice cream, what flavor ice cream do you have? And he's in the midst of a scandal. He's not. And he's taking, of course he is, no. Leslie. Come on. Of course he is. You see know, that? You know, the Senate committee so you're like, for you're like, you're like big tech. You're protecting him. And everyone is, except for yeah, but you're, exact, people. you're you're taking something that was investigated Leslie, by let, a let Republican ask, let committee. Ask, committee. You think it's okay for the mayor of Moscow's wife to give him millions and millions of dollars, three and a half million dollars, to give his family three and a half? Do you think it's okay for Hunter Biden to say to say that we're giving we're giving the big guy ten percent of this massive amount of money they're taking in? It? Do you think it's okay? for all of these horrible things that you've seen, where they're getting hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars, where China gives them a billion and a half dollars to manage the family, a billion and a half dollars, and then he's supposed to negotiate. Let me tell you, it's the biggest, second biggest scandal. So, the biggest scandal was when they spied on my campaign. They spied on my campaign. There's Leslie. no real evidence of that. Of course there is, no. it's all over the place. Leslie, Sir, they spied on my campaign and they got can pulled. Can I say something? You know, this is 60 minutes, and we can't put on things we can't verify. You won't put it on because it's bad for Biden. We can't Look, put on say, things we can't verify. Leslie, they spied on my campaign. Well, we can't it's been totally verified. No. It's been, just go down and get the papers. They spied on my campaign, they got caught. No. And then they went much further than that, and they got caught. And you will see that, Leslie, and you know that, but you just don't want to no, put it on the air. As a matter of fact, I don't know that. Okay. And you're out so there. So why don't you get back to your interview and let's go. Uh, we'll go. All right. Um, of concern to publishers as well as editors, I want to talk about our common responsibilities in the face of a common danger. The events of recent weeks may have helped to illuminate that challenge for some, but the dimensions of its threat have loomed large on the horizon for many years. Whatever our hopes may be for the future, for reducing this threat or living with it, there is no escaping either the gravity or the totality of its challenge to our survival and to our security. A challenge that confronts us in unaccustomed ways in every sphere of human activity. This deadly challenge imposes upon our society two requirements of direct concern, both to the press and to the president. 
two requirements that may seem almost contradictory in tone, but which must be reconciled and fulfilled if we are to meet this national peril. I refer first to the need for far greater public information, and second, to the need for far greater official secrecy. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society, and we are as a people inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweighed the dangers which are cited to justify it. Even today, there is little value in opposing the threat of a closed society by imitating its arbitrary restrictions. Even today, there is little value in ensuring the survival of our nation if our traditions do not survive with it. And there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning to the very limits of official censorship and concealment. That I do not intend to permit to the extent that it's in my control. And no official of my administration, whether his rank is high or low, civilian or military, should interpret my words here tonight as an excuse to censor the news, to stifle dissent, to cover up our mistakes, or to withhold from the press and the public the facts they deserve to know. In the midst of the FBI investigation into President Trump's team, many Republicans are questioning the legitimacy of the investigation, and in some cases, the entire agency. Their latest focus? Text messages between a top FBI agent removed from special counsel Robert Mueller's team and an FBI lawyer. Republicans say that in one exchange, the agent, Peter Strzok, refers to a secret society in the FBI. Republican Senator Ron Johnson, the chairman of the Senate Homeland Security Committee, told reporters today that an informant says he has more information on that. I have heard that there was a group of managers within the FBI that were holding meetings off-site. That's all, that's all I know. So, and that, again, all I said was when Strzok and Page described you know, as they described a secret society, that didn't surprise me because I had, you know, I guess corroborating information potentially. Unelected deep state operatives who defy the voters to push their own secret agendas are truly a threat to democracy itself. And I was so heartened when I looked. I think it's backfired. Seriously, people that don't exactly dig us and they don't exactly like me they're fighting for us. It's an incredible, it's actually a beautiful thing. We've picked up a lot of support because at some point this whole thing is going to be exposed. And it's really bad and it's really dangerous and it's really sad for the media and the mainstream media. It really is sad. Main calling are turning people off. No, I think I wouldn't be here if I didn't have social media because the media is uh, the corrupt. The In my opinion, about. the media is corrupt. But, you know, but you the media me. is fake. And frankly, if I didn't have social media, I'd have no way of getting out my voice. You know what you told me a long time ago when I asked why you keep saying fake in yeah. media? Yeah. You said to me, I say that because I need to dis uh, discredit you so that when you say negative things about me, no one will believe you. I don't have to discredit you. But that's what you've you told You've discredited me. yourself. You told me that. Leslie, you've discredited yourself. When you say that, you're not going to cover Biden. You're going to ask him what flavor ice cream he has, okay? That's not Instead mean. of why did Hunter get three and a half million dollars from Moscow? Instead of why is an energy company paying your son $183,000 a month or whatever they're paying him? And he has no experience in energy. You know, you discredit yourself. I don't have to discredit so, you. So this story about Hunter and his laptop, some repair shop found it. The source is uh, Steve Bannon and Rudy Giuliani. I don't know anything about and that. I just know it's a laptop and, and they haven't. And you're making this one of the hottest, most important issues in your rallies. I, mean, I don't know about the two gentlemen you mentioned. This is the most important I, issue in the country. It's right a very now. important issue to from find out top whether top or not a man's corrupt who's running for president, who's accepted money from China <laughs> and from Ukraine and from Russia. 
all these yeah, I think that's have an been important investigated issue. and it's, it's, it's incredible. incredible the way you can try and say this and sit there and look me in the eye and say it. A he accepted money, his family, from Russia, from Ukraine, from China, and from other places. And a his brother, who didn't have experience, became a big builder in Iraq without experience. Take a look at what's going on, Leslie. And then you say oh, that shouldn't be discussed. I'm saying it's the biggest scandal out there, Leslie. And you think it's the biggest issue to campaign on? I think it's this. I think it's one of the biggest scandals I've ever seen, and you don't cover it. Because you want to talk about well, because it can't be verified. You want to talk I'm about insignificant you. things. I'm telling you. Of course, it can be verified. Excuse we, me. We they found the laptop, it. Leslie. It Leslie. Can't be verified. What can't be verified? The laptop. Why do you say that? Because Even the family verified. hasn't, the family on the laptop, he's gone into hiding for five days. He's gone into hiding. He's preparing for your debate. Oh, it's taken him five days to prepare? I doubt it. I doubt it. Okay. All right. Go ahead. So let's get back to the name calling, okay? And, and whether you think it's turning people off. No, I think, look, it is what it is. Where are we sitting, man? Where, where are we sitting? In the Rosa room. Of what? Of the White House. That's right. How did I get here? How did I get here? We're in the White but House. But what are you saying? Oh, but by name calling, you think that no, that's No, not by name theory? calling, by, you know, doing the right thing. And we we have a great record. I mean, we got hit by a pandemic. It wasn't my fault. But it was it? It was China's fault. But, but Leslie, we're in the White House. The press is very biased, very, very biased. And, and I'm not talking You're about anybody. I'm talking about, us. no, yes. no, I'm not. You're discrediting yourself, Leslie. No, you are. Leslie, you're discrediting yourself. When you don't go after Biden, when Why with the corruption in the Biden family. Biden? You've asked me five when you don't, times. When you don't go after uh, what happened in the Russia witch hunt, which turned out to be a total phony with no collusion, no collusion whatsoever. When you don't do that, you discredit yourself. The press, you know, is highly discredited right now. You do know that. So you discredit yourself. 